Great footy. Good pal. How was the body? Yeah, not bad. Thanks. Right. How was jet lag? Uh -huh, not, not too much. How was the game like today? Yeah, Different proposition it? playing wing back, isn't it? Yeah, it was. It was obviously a new experience for me. I mean, um, I've only played it once before. Yeah. That was a few years ago, but you know, I think that role suits me quite, quite good. I think that's probably my best position. How would you describe yourself as a player? We obviously everyone goes on about the the way you attack, but how, how would you sum up the way you play or what you bring to to a team? Obviously, I think my strengths is going forward. You know, I think I'm. You know, I can I can carry the ball out from defence. You know, I think that takes a bit of pressure off sometimes, which is which is good. And I think I can go past people quite quite easily, and you know, and, and put the ball in the box and and create chances. I think that's my best part of the game. You know, I think people always do question my defensive side of the game, but you know, I don't think I really get done too much defensively. You know, sometimes my positioning is a bit off. You know, but I think that's from me going forward probably a bit too much maybe. You know, I'm, I've I've touched on it in my interview already and. You know, I've had a I've had a bit of stick from the from the Derby fans from from what I said, but you know, it, it wasn't a case of saying that I'm I'm not going to be able to adapt. I said I have to adapt, and you know, I don't want to really change my game too much because that's what I've made my career on, and, and I think people have took it the wrong way. And you know, obviously Gary Rout's a fantastic manager. He's coming in, and you know, hopefully, like I said, people are always going to question my defensive side, and you know, with him being renowned for his more defensive style, hopefully that can that can benefit me. Mm -hmm. Go back to March, obviously the, the horrific scenes we've seen with, with poor Seamus, our, our captain, our leader. Yeah. It's football being football, that presents a magnificent opportunity for you, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's not the way you want to get your opportunity, of course. You know, you want to, you want to get it for your performances and, and, and the way you play, but you know, the manager's got full backing of me and he, he has faith in me. And for Seamus to get injured like that, it's, it's, it's definitely horrific. I mean, at the time when it happened, you know, not long before that, I'd seen I was next to George Foreman he, when he broke his leg at, at Derby, and you know that was that was tough to see, and you know it's even tougher as well. And I seen Seamus do that, who's, a, who's obviously our, our captain, and you know probably one of our best players, and you know it, it is it is tough to take, but like you said, it, it's football, and these opportunities come around, and you know I, I have to be willing to, to take that opportunity. Yeah. Seamus been in touch, I know he's, he's due in this week for certainly for the for the Austria game. Has been in, been in touch at all, and in terms of in terms of that. Well, I spoke to him the other week. You know, I gave him a message, and then you know we had a little combo. And you know, before that, when he was in the hospital, you know, he, he gave me his backing. You know, he said there's no better man to fill his boots. And you know, for me to hear that from a from a player of his caliber, you know, it's it's, it's definitely a, a confidence booster for me in, in itself. And you know, it gives me the the confidence to go forward and, and play well and, and and put on the jersey for this country and my country. And, and you know, obviously, like I said, you know, I also want to put 110 percent in and, and and do well. Yeah, well, halfway through the campaign, I think everybody would, would, would generally say would, would delight with how we are. What, what would you say the mood is like in the camp now, halfway through, half term assessment? How are we looking? How are we looking forward? How, how would you assess things? I think the, the lads are definitely up for it. You know, they're buzzing. You know, they, they know there's still a long way to go. You know, we, we know that we have to, we have to build on, on the performances that we've already put in and, and keep building on that and, and stake our claim at the top of this group. And, you know, I think we've, we've, we've gone away to some tough places and and we've we've got some great victories and you know now we've, we're coming into games where we're playing at our own stand, uh, our own ground and you know we need we need to stamp our authority here and you know pick up the pick up the victories mm. i've been in your position obviously when you get asked questions you always tend to, to back them away but yeah. can you allow yourself to think that in four or five months you, we could be qualified for a world cup you could be playing in russia next year you know, in a world can you allow yourself to think that or is it very much focused on uruguay tomorrow and obviously austria being the be on them on next week i think of course you in the back of your mind, you'll, you'll always think about it. You know, you think about the possibilities and of what could happen. But I mean, for me, it's just concentrating, taking each game as it comes. Really, you know, like I said, we've already we've got a long way to go. But you know, the, the possibilities there that we could be going to Russia next year and, and playing in the World Cup, and you know, we've we've put ourselves in a great position to, to get there. And, and now we need to follow through. Uruguay tomorrow is it hard not to have one eye on on Austria next weekend. Yeah, no, not really. I think when you come away here, the the focus is just. On the next game, you know, we're always going to be in the back of your mind. You're always going to be looking out for the Austria game, but we know that we've got to prepare right, and we've got to play the Uruguay, Uruguay tomorrow, and you know, we've, we've we've got to play our game and and, and do well and, and and stake a claim to to, to play in the uh, Austria game. So I think a lot of the boys know that, that they know that, you know, next week they if they do well that, that they could uh, they could play in the Austria game. Mm. Is there a sense that with the with the Austria game next weekend that we can see them off? You know, there's four points between us now. If, they, if we win that game, that goes to seven points. We're, we're, we're trying to make this into a two-hour race to a degree between ourselves and Serbia. Of course, yeah. I mean, we got there and win that game. You know, we, we lay down a big marker. You know, we, I think a lot of people overlook us. You know, I think even even last year when we were trying to qualify for the Euros, a lot of people overlooked us and and they seen the games that we had coming up against like the Germans and 
and against Poland and you know a lot of people overlooked us and didn't think we were going to make it and I, and I think that's the same this year even though we we're up there in in joint top I think it is with Serbia you know people are still going to overlook us and you know for us if if we got there and, and play against Austria we proved it that we can we can pit ourselves against the best and you know we if we go and win uh, next Sunday we um you know we we've, we've laid down a big marker and, and, it, and it puts a bit of a gap between us and, and the rest of the group Torres been an absolute pleasure. Thank Thanks Cheers. for joining nice us. Good luck tomorrow and more Thank importantly you. next week. Thank you. Top Cheers. Man.